how you have to have fine so in this video we will discuss about soil okay in previous video we had already discussed about land okay and in this video we will discuss about soil as a resource okay soil is the most important renewable natural resource okay uh, soil is the most important and it is renewable resource in nature okay it is renewable resource in nature. It uh, uh, it is a medium of plant growth and support different type of living organisms on the earth. Okay. Uh, it uh, uh, it is the medium of plant growth. Okay. And uh, it also support the different uh, types of uh, living organisms on the earth. Okay. The soil is a living system. It uh, takes million millions of year to form soil up to a few centimeter in depth okay it means uh, it take a uh, millions of year to form soil up to a few centimeter in depth okay relief parent rock or uh, bed rock climate vegetation and other form of life and uh, Time are important factors in uh, the uh, in the formation of soil. Okay. Uh, parent rock or uh, bed rock, climate, uh, vegetation, and other form of life. They all uh, uh, help to <coughs> help to. Uh, these are the important. Uh, Time uh, are uh, important factors in the formation of soil and it helps to form the soil. Okay. Climate, vegetation, and other form of life. Formation of soil. Uh, various forces of nature, nature such as change in temperature, action. And action of running water, wind, and glacier activities of uh, decomposer detection. Okay. Uh, various forces of nature like uh, changes in temperature, action, uh, action of running water. Okay. Wind, temperature. Okay. Activities of decomposer okay contribute to the formation of soil okay uh, these all forces uh, of nature helps to form, help in the formation of soil okay chemical and organic changes which take place in which take place in the river of soil okay. Chemical and organic changes which take place in the which take place in the soil are equally important. Okay, soil also consists of organic and inorganic material. Okay, uh, and uh, it is also consists of organic and inorganic material. Okay, on the basis of factor responsible for the soil formation, color, thickness, texture, age. Chemical and physical properties. The soil of India are the classified in different different types. Okay, okay the classification of uh, soil in India. Okay, classification of soil. India has uh, varied relief relief features, landforms, climate, realms, and vegetation and vegetation types. Okay. India has variety relief features, uh, landforms, climate, realms, and vegetation types. Okay, uh, these have uh, contributed uh, contributed in the development of various type of soil. Like first, the classification of soil. First one is alluvial soil. Alluvial 
This is the most widely spread and uh, important soil. Okay, uh, alveoli soil is the most important uh, soil. Okay, in fact, uh, the entire northern plain are uh, made up of alveoli soil. Uh, in fact, the uh, entire northern plain, okay, northern plain are uh, northern plain are made up of alveoli soil. Okay, the northern plain are made up of alveoli soil. Okay. It is also most fertile soil. Okay. These have uh, been uh, deposited by three important Himalayan river system. First one is the Indus, the Ganga, and the Brahmaputra. Okay. These are the three important uh, Himalayan river. Okay. That uh, these have uh, have been deposited. These have been deposited by three important that first river, Himalayan river, that first one is Indus, Ganga, and Brahmaputra. Okay. This soil also uh, extends in the Rajasthan and Gujarat through a narrow corridor. Uh, okay. This soil also extended in the Rajasthan and uh, Gujarat through a narrow corridor. Okay. Uh, Alveoli soil is also found in the eastern coastal, eastern coastal plain, particularly in the, the deltas, in the deltas of uh, Mahanadi, in the deltas of Mahanadi and uh, the Godavari and the Krishna and the Kaveri. Okay. Uh, these are also uh, this one is also found in uh, the eastern coastal plain okay particularly in delta okay this one is the figure of alveoli soil the alveoli soil consists of various proportions of sand silt and clay uh, as we move in the lands toward the river valley, uh, valley a small uh, sorry, soil, soil particles appear some somewhat bigger in size. Okay, uh, if uh, uh, if we move uh, in line towards the river valley, okay, soil particles uh, are uh, bigger in size. Okay, we see that the uh, soil particle in bigger, bigger soil particle are bigger in size. Okay. In the upper reaches of the river valley, near the place of uh, the break of slope, the soil are uh, such a uh, such soil are uh, more common in uh, Piedmont Piedmont plains such as Dara's uh, Core and such as Dewar Jews and Apart from the size of uh, these grains or uh, components, uh, soil are also described on the basic of their age. Okay, uh, the soil are also apart from the size of their grains or components, soil are also described on the basis of their age. Okay, age. According to their age, alveolar soil can be classified as old alveoli, bunger, and uh, the new alveoli called khadar. Okay, the old alveoli soil known as uh, bunger, bunger, and uh, the new alveoli soil known as khadar. Okay, the bunger soil uh, has a higher concentration of uh, kankar. Okay. Kankar nodules, nodules than the kadar. Okay. Uh, it means uh, old alveoli soil that is bunker has the high concentration of the kankar. Okay. As compared to the new alveoli soil, that is kadar. Okay. It has more fine part particles uh, and uh, is more fertile than the kankar. And uh, 
it has more fine and fine particles and and uh, is uh, more fertile than the banger okay as well as soil as a whole as a whole are uh, very fertile okay alveolar soil is also known as fertile soil okay it is uh, also it is a uh, fertile soil okay mostly this soil contain adequate pop, uh, proportion of uh, phosphorus sorry potash phosphoric acid and uh, lime which uh, which are ideally for ideal for the growth of sugar cane paddy paddy wheat other 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 cattle and horses crop okay it means uh, this why are rich in uh, potash phosphoric phosphoric acid and lime okay which help in the growth of uh, sugar cane paddy wheat okay these are the main uh, and these are the main uh, thing that uh, that is uh, grown on uh, this with the help of this soil that is sugar cane paddy and wheat and other tropical and pulses crops okay due to its high fertility reason of uh, alveolar soil are uh, uh, intensively cultivated and uh, densely populated okay uh, due to its uh, high fertility the region of uh, alveolar soil are uh, uh, intensively uh, intensively cultivated and uh, densely populated okay due to its high fertility okay soil uh, soils in the arid areas are uh, most alkaline and uh, can be productive after uh, proper treatment and irrigation okay soil in uh, the drier area are uh, most alkaline and uh, can be productive after proper treatment and irrigation okay this is all about the alveolar soil that is uh, Uh, it is the most uh, fertile soil in India, okay, and it is spread over forty percent area of India, okay. Alveolar soil is uh, mostly found in northern plains and coastal plains of India, okay. Deposited by the Ganga, Brahmaputra, and the Indus River, okay. Northern plains and uh, deposited by the deltas of Mahanadi, Godavari, and Krishna, and Kaveri of on the uh, coastal area, okay. these are and uh, there are two type we can uh, we have already seen that there are two type of alveolar soil that first one is old al uh, alveolar soil and uh, second one is new alveolar okay old alveolar is known as banger and new alveolar is known as khadar okay it present fine particles of sand salty and clay okay uh, it has uh, accurate production of uh, phosphorus potash phosphoric acid and lime okay and uh, it is uh, it is ideal for the growth of uh, wheat paddy and sugar cane okay and also in common also is okay so this is all about the alveolar soil okay so i hope you understand about the alveolar soil okay now let's see a uh, next one that is black soil okay this soil are black in color this soil is are uh, black in color okay and uh, also uh, and are also known as regular soil okay and uh, black soil is also known as this soil a uh, black soil is also known as regular soil okay uh black soil is ideal for growth of gro uh, growing cotton and uh, is also known as known as black cotton soil okay uh, it is also known as black cotton soil because uh, it is ideal for the growth uh, growing of growing cotton okay 